you're not you're not eating miso soup. You're not eating nido. You're not eating like sauerkraut that you fermented yourself. You're not doing it. I just, I know I know you're not doing it. Therefore, you need probiotics. You need probiotics because they manufacture, they help to manufacture B vitamins, NK cells, and phyto T cells, which you need for immune and stress, like right off the bat. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Light and Corinth, and today I'm going to be bringing you another product review of something that I love so much, and that is my probiotic from Inner Eco. Now, I also take Dr. O'Hare's probiotic, but I'm not going to talk about that one in this video. This video is only going to be on Inner Eco. Now, I have two bottles. I actually have a third one, which I'm not going to show you until later. But this is the old bottle, and then I guess they did some rebranding or whatever, and this is the new bottle. I kept the older bottle because the older bottle has more information on it. It tells you everything about it, how it is gluten-free, non-GMO, soy-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. You take about one tablespoon per serving, and I usually take this um, twice a day, once in the morning and then once at night. The pros of the product, you can find it in store locally. It's only $20 for a 30 day supply. It is a hundred uh, billion CFUs, which means the amount of bacteria in one serving size. Um, I want to speak about that too. I usually don't take anything less than a hundred billion. Um, you want to make sure that it's at least 50 billion and that you have a variety of cultures that are used in the product. You want to make sure that you have at least bifidus and acidophilus, if I'm saying it right, who cares? I'll spell the words out so you'll know what to look for. Um, but you want to make sure you have those because the bifidus is going to be good for your uh, lower intestine and acidophilus. Acidophilus, syphilis, yeah. acidophilus is going to be good for the upper intestine. Ultimately, I think that this is a good product because it's liquid. You don't want to get dry, dry powders or dry pills or anything like that. The cultures need to be alive. And I'm not saying that if they're powdered, they're not alive, but it's questionable. How long has it been sitting on the shelf? You never know. Your best option is going to get a liquid. Dr. O'Hare's I will talk about is like a liquid gel, even though it is in a pill, it's still liquid. But this is a liquid coconut water based probiotic, which is really good if you want to grow your own cultures. You can just pour some of this into like your coconut yogurt that you make yourself because I do that. I don't know if you guys do that, but it's pretty cool. I should make a video on it, but I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. I actually have another flavor. I tend to stick with the original, but they ran out original, so I had to get the other flavor, which is like an orange flavor. But I'm gonna pour that so you guys can see how it looks. It's like fizzy. It reminds me of like some type of soda or something. And if you get anything other than the original, you probably would like it. The original is a bit rough. It doesn't have like any sugar. I think this one has uh, stevia in it, which gives it like this orange soda taste. But I'm gonna pour it for you guys so you can see how it looks. And it is fizzy, it's not really fizzing up on camera. But that's basically how it looks. I don't know if I expected it to look any different um, because it's made from coconut water. But um, yeah, it has like a fermented taste. And I think overall, it's for the, the amount of money that you're paying, $20, you can't beat that. You can't beat it at all. Dr. O'Hare's on the other hand is like $45 and 
I'm not sure if that is for a 30 day supply. That might be for 15 days. I don't know. Dr. Weir, she is crazy. But the product is well filled out. So I'm definitely gonna give you guys that review ASAP because it's a good product. Another thing is people always ask me like, what do you use as a prebiotic? A prebiotic? I don't use a prebiotic. Prebiotics are supposed to feed probiotics. The best, the best, like I need you to bring it in, we gotta get close. The best prebiotic for your probiotics is eating a plant-based diet that's high in fiber. Fiber, fiber, raw plant fiber. Raw plant fiber, not cooked food raw plant fiber that's going to be the best prebiotic for you i don't take prebiotics because i i try to eat a nice plant-based diet uh, with raw fruits and vegetables another thing that i want to talk about is making sure you get a variety of different probiotics different brands use different types of cultures and you just want to make sure you have them all don't be scared to try three or four or five or six of them. Don't. Like, just do it. I take Dr. O'Hare's, I take Inner Ego, and I take Acidophilus by itself. Just do it. You know what I mean? Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and list a product that's not a prebiotic down below that you want me to review.